Greetings and welcome to our video. Our channel, Fear and Desperation, brings you real-life stories of dangerous encounters with wild animals from around the globe. Imagine visiting a zoo or wildlife sanctuary, only to find yourself face to face with a fierce tiger. But what could be even worse? Kanek sets in and you flee the scene, leaving your friend seriously injured or worse, dead from the attack. You seek help from a zoo staff member, only to be dismissed as a drug-induced hallucination, delaying rescue efforts for the victim. Unfortunately, this scenario is not just hypothetical, it's a true story that occurred at the San Francisco Zoo. In this video, we delve into the details of this tragic attack, which resulted in one fatality and two serious injuries. On December 25, 2007, Carlos Souza Jr., a 17-year-old high school student, and his two friends, 19-year-old Paul Dollywell and 23-year-old Colbert Dollywell, drove their 2000 to BMW to the San Francisco Zoo. Carlos was known as a popular hot boy in school tall, handsome, and with black hair. He enjoyed watching movies, dancing, and pursuing his dreams of becoming an actor and DJ throughout side classes. The weather in San Francisco, California that day was mild and sunny with a slight chill. As they drove to the zoo, all three friends had vodka in the car. While Souza and Colbert had only a little, Paul had consumed quite a lot. They chatted excitedly, sang, and made plans for their visit taking photos and anticipating a dinner at a nearby restaurant. Little did they know, the events that would transpire that day would be far from their expectations. The San Francisco Zoo is the perfect destination for travelers who want to immerse themselves in the wild life of various animal species from all over the world. The artificial scenery is also breathtaking, with natural rock formations and vibrant, ancient trees. There are nearly 2,000 individual animals, representing approximately 250 different species. Upon entering through the main gate, a group of young people stepped out of their car and grabbed some necessary items, such as phones, fast food, and water bottles. They strolled along a small path, shaded by the green leaves of ancient trees, and passed by outdoor animal enclosures. Among the cute animals they saw were giraffes, penguins, elks, and monkeys. They stopped under a large tree to discuss the animals they had seen, took photos of each other, and then decided to visit the area with larger and more ferocious animals, such as lions, rhinos, and Siberian tigers. The group of three continued their walk and paused at the outdoor Siberian tiger enclosure. This particular tiger species is known as the Lord of the Taiga Forest and is incredibly fierce. In fact, we even made a video about this species attacking and killing a conservation staff member, as well as another male Siberian tiger of the same species, demonstrating just how vicious they can be. The outdoor Siberian tiger enclosure is a secure and separate area surrounded by a sturdy fence that was built in 1940, and there were no indications of any problems with its size or quality. Take a few photos with a Siberian tiger, Sousa said happily and started posing. Behind the fence, a Siberian tiger was lying in front of an artificial cave on a lush green lawn, licking its thick striped fur. It's so beautiful, Sousa looked at the photo he had taken on his camera. Come on, let's take a few more photos together, he said excitedly and pulled Dollywell closer. They looked at the camera and continued taking photos. At that moment, the public announcement speaker notified the tourists that the park would be closing at 5 p.m. There was also a reminder about the sensitivity of the wild animals in the park, who could become agitated and exhibit their wild nature. Therefore, Tourists were asked to refrain from tapping on the glass enclosures, throwing anything at the animals, making excessive noise or teasing them, 
or calling out to them. It's closing time now, but we just got here for a while, someone said. Why don't we tease them a little bit? We're about to leave, and there's nothing to be afraid of. They began waving and pointing at the nearest Siberian tiger behind the fence, throw something at it and see what it can do to us. They picked up a few big stones and threw them over the fence. The four-year-old Siberian tigress, Tashina, weighing 350 pounds, stood up, growling loudly, and showed her sharp teeth as a threat. They became even more excited. She's going crazy. Let's see what she can do behind this fence. The angry tiger roared and leaped over the fence, chasing and pouncing on Kolbir Dollywool who was standing about two meters away from the fence. He fell to the ground in pain, screaming. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Sousa also shouted in disbelief. Carlos, we have to save Kolbir. Carlos, Carlos. Paul Dollywell screamed desperately towards Souza when he saw the tiger attacking his brother. Souza and his brother Paul hide behind a tree and shout to distract the tiger and help Kolbir escape. The tiger hears Souza and Paul shouting and attacks Souza. Despite trying to escape, the tiger catches him and repeatedly scratches and bites him, causing deep wounds and bleeding. Souza tries to run again. But the tiger pins him down, bites his shoulder, and then chomps down on his neck, causing a life-threatening wound. Souza is unable to move, and the tiger continues to bite and drag him to a nearby road. As the large cat continued to drag and play with Souza's body, the Dollywell brothers were overwhelmed by the horrific scene. They quickly ran to a nearby cafe in San Francisco Zoo, which was approximately 300 yards away seeking help. Colbeer Dolly will ask the zoo staff to call 911 while they waited for assistance. The 911 call reported two men screaming at the zoo's south gate about a tiger attack. The staff members suspected the Dollywell brothers were on drugs and hallucinating, and the zoo staff did not witness any attack or tiger in the area. They thought the brothers might be mentally ill or intoxicated and prevented them from entering the cafe for safety reasons. After waiting for help from the zoo staff for a few minutes, Colbeer Dolly will decided to call 911 himself. He was holding a towel to his head wound and was angry that he had been waiting for more than 10 minutes without assistance. I'm just going to stay on the line with you until the paramedics are with you, all right? Okay. Can you check up on them and we'll see where they're at? They're on scene right now, but they have to stage until they're given permission to go inside. Okay, it's coming out of life and get pulled over. Okay, no, I understand that, but at the same time, we have to make sure the paramedics don't get chewed out because if the paramedics get hurt, then nobody is going to help them. Okay, I understand that. All right? I'm trying to, okay, the ambulance is staging. I need you to understand that if the ambulance people well, what are you in the okay, are you? calm down. All right? I'm I am going to stay on the line like with you. If the paramedics get hurt, they cannot help your brother. So you need to calm down. Calm and down just, you are going to be the best help for your brother right now. So can you, what's going on over here? It's been, okay. I've been on you with them. I'm going to call with you for eight minutes. I called 10 minutes before. Okay. 20 minutes. Okay, I'm trying to explain to you that we have to make sure that we can get inside safely, all right? How long does it take? I do not know that because I'm not out there right now, but we have specialists. Three, four, five, six, seven, 17, 22, and We have 40, 16 different 70. police units plus about six different paramedic and fire department personnel out there trying to we just have to make sure that the tiger doesn't hurt any of the emergency units. Otherwise, there's going to be nobody to help you, all right? So just stay calm. I'm going to stay on the phone with you. The 911 operator found him speaking clearly and coherently, showing no signs of hallucination or drug use. Upon hearing this, the police immediately rushed to the San Francisco Zoo. Four officers arrived and found Sousa's body in a pool of blood. 
He had severe injuries all over, torn clothes, and a bent neck with blood stains leading from the attack site to where the tiger left his body on the road. They quickly followed the trail to hunt the tiger and came close to the cafe where they were also shocked to see a large cat attacking the Dollywell brothers, their bodies covered in blood. The victims screamed and writhed in pain. Help me! Help me! And the animal continued to attack. Officers used their car headlights to distract and agitate a female tiger named Taisha, who was attacking a man named Dollywell. Firing a gun was risky, so officers tried to avoid it. Tashina then charged at the officers and staff, but their shots missed. An officer retreated into his car, but Tashina was next to him, so he opened fire in fear for his life. Tashina was initially wounded but tried to get up before another officer fired, and she died. The police and zoo personnel took another 20 minutes to comb the area and confirm that everyone was secure. The Dollywell brothers were transported to the hospital with deep bite wounds and lacerations on their head, neck, arms, and hands. The zoo remained closed until January 3, 2008. San Francisco Zoo Director Manuel Molinido admitted that the wall surrounding the animal's enclosure was 12.5 feet high after previously stating it was 18 feet. According to the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, walls surrounding tiger exhibits must be at least 16.4 feet high. On February 16, 2008, the zoo reopened the renovated outdoor tiger exhibit, which had been expanded to accommodate a minimum 16-foot 4-inch wall of tempered glass and steel mesh, topped by an additional three feet of transparent polycarbonate material called hot wire, and redesigned with a more naturalistic setting. Jennifer Miller and her family visited the zoo and witnessed a group of men, including an unidentified person, taunting lions before a tiger attack. Jennifer later identified one of the men, 17-year-old Carlos Souza Jr., but said he did not taunt the animals, Police obtained a search warrant for the Dollywell brothers' car and found a small amount of marijuana and a bottle of Grey Goose vodka. All Dollywell's blood alcohol content was 0.16%, twice the legal limit for intoxication, while Colbert Dollywell's was 0.04% and Sousa's was 0.02%. There was also evidence that all three had smoked marijuana. The incident sparked a heated debate about the safety devices and barriers at zoos, with the Dollywell brothers suing the San Francisco Zoo, claiming that they were innocent victims of an attack that the zoo should have prevented. The fatal tiger attack has led to inquiries into the zoo staff's response. Experts advise acting quickly upon receiving reports of animal attacks, prioritizing safety through investigation, contacting emergency services, and finding a safe escape route. The staff's mistake in judging the Dollywell brothers' situation put many people in danger. Without police intervention, multiple lives, including the brothers, could have been lost. The bravery of 17-year-old Carlos Souza Jr., who sacrificed himself to save his friend during the attack, has been praised by many, including his family, he didn't run. He tried to help his friend, and it was him who ended up getting it the worst, said his grieving father. The Souza family is deeply mourning the loss of their brave, cheerful, and handsome son. Our thoughts are with them during this difficult time. We hope that this tragic incident serves as a reminder for people to maintain a safe distance and take necessary precautions when in the presence of dangerous wild animals. Thank you for watching our video. We aim to provide interesting analysis and observations of serious animal attacks on humans in our future videos. Your comments and feedback are highly appreciated, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Goodbye.